Welcome to today's Mathematics Online class of 7. Today's date is 24 August 2020. Our today's topic is Chapter 9. Today we will learn Geometry Theorem, Creative Question 7 from Half Yearly Math Suggestions and its solution and then creative question number eight from half yearly math suggestion and its solution all right let's begin first of all question number seven you can see a figure a triangle abc angle abc is equal to 30 degree and angle acb is equal to 60 degree we need to prove that uh, question number a asks what type of triangle is angle ABC? What type of triangle is ABC? Prove that. Question number B asks. Prove that AB is greater than AC. And question number C asks. Prove that AB plus AC will be greater than BC. All right. Now we move on to our first question, question number A. Here from the figure we can say that angle uh, ABC and angle ACB are given as angle ABC is equal to 30 degree and angle ACB is equal to 60 degree. Now we know that in any triangle sum of all angles is equal to 180 degree. So angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle BAC is equal to 180 degree. Now if we put the value of two triangles which are given that means ABC is equal to 30 degree and ACB is equal to 60 degree then we get BAC is equal to 90 degree. Therefore triangle ABC has 190 degree angle so it's an right angled triangle. So angle uh, ABC is a right angled triangle. I hope you understand. Now we move on to our next question, question number B. Question number B asks, you have to prove AB is greater than AC. Though the figure is not written or drawn into a scale, but we can prove by theoretically. At first we have to write particular enunciation. In triangle ABC, angle ACB is greater than ABC because ACB is equal to 60 degree and ABC equal to 30 degree it is already given so we need to prove that AB is greater than AC now proof if AB not greater than AC then either AB will be equal to AC or AB will be less than to AC now if AB is equal to AC then the two angles two angles between these two sides that means ACB angle equal to angle ABC but these two angles should be equal but according to the question ACB and ABC are not equal they are greater than so ACB is not equal to ABC so AB and AC could not be equal again if AB is less than AC then ACB should be less than angle ABC but according to question we know that ACB is 60 degree and ABC is 30 degree so it is not possible to ACB is less than not less than uh, ABC so AB not less than AC that means AB is always greater than AC all right now we move on to our next question question number C Here question number C you can see in the figure you have to prove that AB plus AC is greater than BC. That means the theorem that sum of any two sides is greater than the third side. In any triangle sum of two sides is always greater than the third side. So how we prove that at first we have to write particular enunciation let BC be the greatest side of triangle ABC we need to prove that AB plus AC is greater than BC 
Now we have to draw something. So that means we need to write the construction part. That means we extend side BA up to D so that AD should be equal to AC. That means AD and AC should be equal side. Now we join C and D. Now we prove in triangle ADC, AD is equal to AC according to our drawing. Therefore, angle ADC and angle ACD will be equal because this is an isosceles triangle and isosceles triangles base angles are equal. So, ACD and ADC will be equal. Again, ACD should be equal to BCD. BDC because a BDC and ADC are same angle. Again, BCD is always greater than BDC because uh, BCD is greater than ACD because ACD is a part of BCD. So, BCD is greater than BDC. Now, in triangle BDC, that means the biggest triangle BDC. BD is greater than BC. BD is greater than BC. But now BD is equal to if we uh, broke, if we break BD, we get BA or AB plus AD. That means BD equal to AB plus AD, and AD equal to AC. So we get BD is equal to AB plus AC. So BD is greater than BC means AB plus AC is greater than BC, which completes our proof. Now we move on to our next question, question number 8. You can see a figure on the screen. In the figure, angle QPM is equal to angle RPM and angle QPR is equal to 90 degree. Moreover, PQ is equal to 6 centimeter. Question number A, B and C says find the value of QPM, angle QPM. Question number B asks what are the values of PQM and PRM and then question number C find the value of PR. Alright, now we move on to our question. Solution number A. In triangle 